Hello, Mathletes! I am Teacher Anna, a Singapore math trained teacher, and I'm welcoming you to the YouTube channel of MSA Institute. If you want to be a Singapore math whiz, I'm inviting you to join us in our community by subscribing to this YouTube channel. And of course, I'm very sure you will like this video. So please hit that like button. And to be updated with our upcoming videos, I want you to click the notification bell. So, are you ready to A, Singapore Math? I am ready. So, let's start! video of the two-part series on solving challenge problems involving comparison and still we are going to use the Merlin Singapore math approach so let's proceed with our challenge problem number two Lilica has five more ribbons than Kleis Angelica has three more ribbons than Lilica if Angelica has 18 ribbons how many ribbons does Kleis have? In the problem, we're talking about three friends and their ribbons. And we're tasked to look for the number of ribbons owned by Kleis. Let's proceed with our solution. Lily cast five more ribbons than Kleis. We are now comparing the number of ribbons of Lilica and Kleis. In our second statement, Angelica has three more ribbons than Lilica. We are comparing that of Angelica's and Lilica's. And we are tasked to find for the number of ribbons owned by Kleis. And again, using the Singapore math approach, it will be easier for us to use our representations. So, comparing that of Lilica, Kleis, and Angelica, we will come up with these blocks. And as you can see, we know the number of ribbons owned by angelica the one on the blue block there and she has 18. and in comparing we will be able to see that lilica has more ribbons than Kleis. thus lilica has a correct a longer block and that is the pink block so let's proceed with our solution again comparing angelica and lilica Lelica has a lesser number. That is why we said that Angelica was 18, tends to have a longer block. And looking at our blocks there, we divided it into 18 equal units. And we know that Angelica has three more. Therefore, okay, what we need to do is to subtract 18 minus 3. The difference will now be the number of ribbons owned by Lilica. And 18 minus 3 is 15. Now we know that Angelica is 18 and Lilica has 15 ribbons. But that's not all. We need to know the number of ribbons owned by Kleis. So this is our second step. Lilica has five more ribbons than Kleis. So... Lilica represented by the pink block. We already know she has 15. And Kleis, we have there the green block. We don't know the number. But since we know that Lilica has five more ribbons, then the same step. All we have to do is subtract 5 from 15. And the answer will be the number of ribbons owned by Kleis. So, 15 minus 5 is, you are correct, 10. Now we know that Kleis has 10 ribbons. So, to solve our problem, this is the summary. Lelika, at first, we do not know, including that of Kleis, but we only know that Angelica is 18. 
Therefore, we subtracted 3 from 18 for us to get the number of ribbons owned by Lilica. And that's the same operation that we used. 15 minus 5 giving us 10 ribbons for Kleis. So, this is the answer. Kleis has 10 ribbons. Isn't it easy? Using our Singapore math approach, the blocks would really help you compare the quantities in a given challenge problem. Let's proceed with challenge problem number three. Reading through, and please read with me at home. Ryan has six fewer stickers than Benedict. If he has nine stickers, how many stickers do they have all together? Again, in the problem, we're talking about okay, two friends, Ryan and Benedict. Oh, happy boys. And we are talking about their stickers. So maybe they love collecting stickers given by their teachers. So now we need to know together how many stickers do they have. That's already a clue. Okay, let's proceed with our solution. So we know that Ryan has nine stickers. Okay. And Benedict, we do not know. As you can see in our block there, the green block has a question mark on it because, hmm, we have to find out how many stickers does Benedict have before we will be able to know the answer to this challenge problem. All right. So, Ryan again has nine, represented by those equal units okay he okay he has six fewer okay six fewer stickers than that of benedict in this challenge problem our clue word here pertaining to comparison is the word fewer okay so six fewer as you can see there those green equal units there represents Okay, what we need to know to be able to find out that of Benedict. And as you can see on our screen, all we need to do is to add 9 plus 6. Therefore, Benedict has, correct, 15 stickers. 9 plus 6 will give you 15. As you can see, Ryan has a, correct, he has a shorter block than that of Benedict because Benedict has more while Ryan has fewer. Okay, now we're ready for our final answer. Ryan has nine. We knew that from the start of this challenge problem. And upon solving, we also found out that Benedict has 15. Our word there is how many stickers do they have all together? Ryan and Benedict. So what do you think is our operation? Mm -hmm. Do we have the same answer? Let us see. Correct. We have to add them. 15 plus 9 will give you 24. I think we have the same answer. Okay. So all together, these two cute boys have 24 stickers. Isn't it so easy? using our Singapore math approach. So, are you ready to proceed with challenge number four? I think so. It gets easier and easier with our Singapore math approach. Let's read again. All together, read with me. Julian has two more cookies than fourth and three fewer cookies than Patrice. Hmm. We're comparing the number of cookies of three kids here. If Patrice has 10 cookies, how many cookies does Julian have? Okay, there's Julian and fourth and their pretty friend Patrice. And of course, don't you just love cookies? 
All right. Now, the question is, how many cookies does Julian have? We are still comparing quantities and we will still use our block method in answering this problem. So, let's go on. Here is the solution for challenge problem number four. We know that Patrice has 10 cookies. We don't know how many cookies fourth has. We also do not know how many cookies Julian has. And that is our task for this challenge problem. We need to know how many cookies does Julian have. So moving on with our solution. Patrice has 10 cookies. Again, Julian, we need to find out how many. But based on the challenge problem, we know that Julian has three fewer cookies than Patrice. That is now a clue that Patrice has greater, okay, greater number of cookies than Julian. For our solution, we need to subtract 3 from 10 because as mentioned, 3 fewer, thus minus 3. And 10 minus 3 will now give us 7. Therefore, Julian has 7 cookies. We no longer need to know the number of cookies owned by 4 because based from the given, we can already solve it simply by trying to discover the meaning of three fewer. By simply comparing the number of cookies owned by Julian and Patrice. Isn't it very simple? We just need to know which quantities we need to compare. And that's it for today's video for our Merlin Singapore Math. And I want you to be a part of our community. And you can do that by simply subscribing to our YouTube channel, MSA Institute, liking our videos, and of course, please click the notification bell so that you will be updated with our upcoming videos.